Retro Reveal was a popular website used by archivists, researchers and collectors to transform images so as to reveal hidden elements that would otherwise be barely visible to the naked eye. Unfortunately, the Retro Reveal site went offline in May 2022 and has yet to return. However, the old site can still be accessed via the Wayback Machine, an online archive, but as it only contains archived copies of the static pages, it is not functional. Not finding a suitable alternative at the time, I decided to create Image Sleuth as a Retro Reveal replacement. As far as I am aware, Image Sleuth has all the analytical capability that Retro Reveal provided, plus a few extra features that I hope will prove useful. A primary feature being that it does not require an internet connection to function. Image Sleuth is completely free of charge. It is a standalone software program that may be downloaded here for Windows, Mac, or Linux. And once it has been downloaded and installed, Image Sleuth may remain on one's computer indefinitely. Once installed, Image Sleuth is launched via the application open icon. There are not many controls, a button to open an image for analyzing, a button to access the program configuration, a group of buttons to rotate the image, a help button and a button to exit the application. Clicking the help button will bring up the help window with an introduction and further details of the various controls and views. I am now going to go through the steps used to analyze an image. And here I should mention that although all the samples I am using are images of postage stamps, that is only because that is what I use Retro Reveal for. This should not be seen as a limitation of image sleuth and should not prevent one from using it for other types of images. First select the open button to choose an image file to analyze. Once a file has been selected and opened, Image Sleuth will immediately begin processing it. After a brief period of time, the gallery view will be populated by a gallery of thumbnail images. The amount of time it takes very much depends on the size of the image being analyzed. With large images, this can extend to minutes rather than seconds, as Image Sleuth generates 99 individual images from each image being processed. The top left corner displays the original unprocessed image. Here we can make out part of the postmark containing the country name, S. Rhodesia, but the date and other details are indistinct. By scrolling through the thumbnail images and examining each one, one can hopefully find an image displaying the required detail. When examining the images, it will be noticed that a number of the thumbnails look similar if not identical. As each thumbnail is the result of a different transform, these apparent similarities will depend on the actual image file being analyzed and will not necessarily be the same for different images. In many cases, the thumbnails may be large enough to bring out the desired detail. In many instances, however, they are far too small. Clicking on a thumbnail will open it up in a new window. Here we can clearly see the date, 19th December 10 for 1910, and the first few letters of the name of the town are also discernible, P-E-N-H. Although these might be clearer in other thumbnails, they are clear enough to identify the town as Penalonga. 
Once an image is displayed in this view, one can zoom in, zoom out, switch back to actual size, or fit the image to the window, zoom fit. Although in this view, the shape will be distorted as the window aspect ratio changes. And back to actual size. Sometimes the definition of an image may be improved by manipulating the contrast. And brightness controls. or back to the default setting. Instead of switching back to the gallery view to find a better image, one can instead scroll through the actual size images until something more suitable appears. Previous, or next, next. And, if desired, the transform image can be saved as a new image file by selecting the Save button and specifying a name. Sometimes, the element of an image which is of interest may be rotated in relation to the rest of the image, making it harder to identify. For example, if the letters P, E, N, H happen to be inverted, in which case the image may be rotated using the buttons on the toolbar, 90 degrees to the left, 90 degrees to the right, or inverted. And of course, once an image is rotated, will be displayed in the image view irritated as well. I am now going to take a quick run through the configuration options. The major dimension of the images in the gallery are set to 360 pixels by default. This means that the longest side of an image will be set to 360 pixels. This can be adjusted. For example, 200 pixels could be used to make the thumbnail smaller. Rotate them back to normal. Or something like 600 pixels for larger thumbnails. Or we prefer back to the default setting of 360. Note the original unprocessed image is labeled with the file name, in this case sr underscore 1d.png, whereas each transformation is only labeled with a number 127 up to 99. If interested, the actual transformation names can dis be displayed along with a number by selecting Show this color space labels in the configuration dialog box. RGB red, RGB green, etc. Finally, the configuration dialog can be used to check for newer versions of Image Sleuth. Select Check for Updates. This is the one and only time that the program requires access to the Internet. This application needs to connect to the Internet to check for updates. Would you like to proceed? Selecting Yes will perform the check. In this case, 
I am ready running the latest version. You are currently running Image Sleuth version, version 1.1.0. This is the latest version. That concludes this brief introduction to Image Sleuth, and I hope that you find it a suitable re replacement for Retro Reveal. And please feel free to contact me with any questions via the contact form on the Image Sleuth website. The link may be found in the description below. Thanks.